Okay, so we got our uh, our uh, 2017 Nissan NV2500 van in. Uh, as you can see, it's bare bones. And uh, we've got some uh, footage here, some pictures of the process of putting in the rubber floor and then the partition. And then we have a lot of video footage showing the whole process of mounting down everything and powering it up. Uh, so we have all this content available for you. Uh, we'll share the pictures, which you can see right now that there is a uh, the partition, the process of the partition going in, and the rubber floor, and then we're going to cut to some video footage. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue on with the, uh, the build out of this uh, NV2500. We're going to attach a basically a jumper cable. We're cutting the ends off and we're going to attach the cabling to the front battery. They run the wire up underneath to the back to a power inverter and a marine battery so that we can get power back here and power all the machines. So we're going to get that set up and we'll uh, We'll share a little bit along as the way as we get things done. We're going to be uh, removing the drawers from these cabinets so that we could uh, basically get all the drawers out and we can bolt these cabinets down to the uh, body of the Nissan. So that's going to take a little bit. We're going to pull all the drawers out, bolt them down, then put all the drawers back in. Okay, so I'm underneath the vehicle right now. I see those, see those two posts right there. Those are right behind the partition inside the back of the truck. So that's where I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna drill a one inch hole with a uh, one inch hole and an extender on my drill. And I'm gonna drill that hole through and then run the battery down and up under the vehicle over there to the front battery. And that way I can tie my front battery into the back marine battery. So this is the extender I'm gonna use. They're my one inch hole saw with a long extension. And I'm gonna drill this hole in, run the battery cable up underneath there and tie it into the marine battery. I'm basically prying this piece of metal out of the way so we can slide the drawers out. This way we can bolt them down. Okay, so we've got the, we took a jumper cable, we cut the ends off, 20 foot jumper cable. I'm basically, I drilled the hole for where it's gonna come. We're gonna attach the front battery with the jumper cable to the back marine battery. And then on the marine battery, there's two other posts. We're gonna make two little jumper cables from there to the power inverter in the back. And that way you can power all your tools and every time you're driving, it's charging up your, your back battery. So a marine battery, the reason why we use a marine battery is a marine battery, it's made for completely charging it up and wearing it all the way down and then charging it all the way back and wearing it all the way down. Car battery, you use it, it you know, you use it and it constantly replenishes that you use it. It's with an alternator. But a marine battery is made so that you can drain it out and completely recharge it again. So that's what we use in the back. So I've got the wire I'm basically looping up, if you notice here, with the zip tie. I'm making them longer. I'm, I'm taking it along the frame anywhere that when they work in the car that they may not need to touch. So anything that needs to be touched around or is hot, I'm keeping the wire away from that and I'm strapping them up to the frame, down the frame, cross up into the battery. So uh, meanwhile, Josh is taking out all the, uh, the uh, drawers to the cabinets so that we can take all the drawers out, mount them down from the inside and put all the drawers back in. So we'll keep you updated. Rolling. Okay. So I'm just tightening up the wires basically trace the wires along the framing of the vehicle and then I'm just pulling out the slack through and then making sure they don't move and then cutting off the, uh, the remaining flaps here. So this is going from the battery up front all the way down along the frame up in here and then up through to the battery. And then uh, we've already got the battery wired in up top and then we'll We'll show you some of that footage here shortly. Okay, so we have the uh, wires coming out, wired onto here, wired onto there, and then uh, we have two cables coming from the other posts, going to positive and negative, uh, like it's supposed to. And uh, we're just gonna spool this up, strap it in, and we'll be done.
All right. Done, done, done. Cool. This thing now, right? Either that or the, uh, oh, the leg. Yeah. Leg. We can do this so we can do the leg and leg. Yeah. Um, the question is how, how can we secure this other than putting it? That's all the way. The back's up against it and mm -hmm. it's kind of out, but it's flat. Next one. It just, I guess it's the way it stands. Yeah. Let's bolt this one down real quick. Just give me the, uh, the head for this. Something I can screw that in with. Yeah. Okay, so we got these mounted. We had to level them out. We had to put some spacers underneath it because you've got these rivets that run the, the length of the floor here. So whenever you put something on it, it doesn't want to be level. So we had a hard time with that, but we got those level. Those are secured. We had to remove all the drawers, bolt it down, put the drawers back in. Got that secured. And that little paper keeper or file keeper secured and the one on the opposite side. We're going to bolt this leg down, get a measurement across, build the table, put carpet on it, uh, and then start setting up the machines. And then we're going to bolt down this guy behind us and then uh, get that going. And once we get all that going, we're just going to start stocking the truck. Uh, Okay, so we cut the uh, custom top for the, uh, the counter, and what we're going to do is we're going to carpet it when we're done. So we need we can't have these sticking out the top. So what we're going to do is make a, a little recessed little hole with the drill bit, so that this will recess into that hole and be flush at the top, and mount this down. And then once everything's flush, then we'll put some adhesive on it and lay the carpet on and glue it on. And then after that, uh, I believe we are starting to stock the truck. So we're getting close to being able to get this guy on the road. Actually, what I probably need to do is pre-drill that hole at least a little bit. That way the wood doesn't crack. Okay, so right now Brian's cleaning off the uh, the counter there, and he's going to basically put down some adhesive glue, and then we're gonna stick the carpet on top of it, and then fold it over to the over the ledge in the front there, and then tack it in with a bunch of tack nails. And then once that's done, we're gonna start mounting the machines and mounting the pin kit, and then uh, start stocking the truck. Okay, so we've got. Everything mounted, all the machines mounted, all the power done, everything's ready to go. We just gotta stock up the drawer. So we're gonna go through each of these drawers here, stock it with some of the most common key blanks and, and extra pins and mortar cylinders and every possible thing they're gonna need on the job site. And once we get all that stocked, um, we'll uh, bring you back in and let you see it when uh, see how it's organized. All right guys, so uh, we're pretty much done with everything on the build out. We've uh, we put the rubber floor in, we put this partition in, we ran the wire underneath to the battery, to the marine battery, to the power inverter. 
we've got the, the whole counter built in, the machines are all workable, all powered. Uh, we've stocked in all our basic stock would be your commercial levers, your door closers up here, and then we've got all your uh, residential hardware, mixed hardware in there. We also got in the drawers, we have all the different key lengths, all different screws, nuts, bolts, self tappers, wood screws, machine screws, everything you need, shims, followers, tweezers, everything we need are all in these drawers. Then we have all our mortise cylinders and mortise bodies and electric strikes and push paddles and dead latches and just about everything you you, uh, you need. We have it all stocked up in here. All our tools are in the back. You have your pin kit, your, your grinder, your vise, and your duplicator and your HPC machine. So. That pretty much uh, does it. This uh, vehicle is going to hit the road now. It's been hitting it a little bit now on and off, but now we're ready to uh, fully uh, put it on the road and not look back. So thanks for following uh, and tuning in again to watch one of our videos. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button would be great. And uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Facebook. We're on all of them. So thank you for following.